Babies, hospital patients, and thousands of people across the globe, their private moments are now being streamed without their permission on the internet. Sounds pretty scary and sounds like a huge invasion of privacy, which it is. A Russian website, though, is trying to prove a point. Anyone can access these web cameras. CNN tech, uh, Money Tech correspondent Lori Siegel joins me now. Those what? images are unbelievable looking at that. And you know what's so scary about this website is we're looking at 4,600 cameras in the United States and then cameras of, of these intimate moments all around the world. You know, a, a baby in a cot sleeping in New Jersey, uh, a hospital room in Minneapolis. But you know, Karen, when we take a step back and, and covering the hacking community, this doesn't shock me. You know, what's more shocking, I think this isn't a hardcore hack. How easy it was for hackers to access this information is what people should be really concerned about and it's all because a lot of these cameras that people buy that you might buy to hey you know be a baby monitor or something you know these have default passwords that if you don't change the passwords there are yeah. all these passwords online and these online forums that anybody can access I actually spoke to a hacker who showed me how easy this was take a look at this it is a live shot of somebody's home um, and there are many others out there like that you were able to actually turn on a camera on someone's computer within their home and now we're looking at a person talking. Mm, yeah, not only the uh, the camera but on a lot of them you can also get audio. People don't change the default password so while they may not think people are looking at their home, they there are people out there that are searching looking for the default username and password which are, are publicly available. And let me preface this with saying he's an ethical hacker, and he did ask uh, a friend permission to be able to do oh. this. But he was able, in a couple of clicks, without his friend even knowing, to go online, find her default password because she hadn't changed it, and automatically get into her home. It's as easy as just knocking on the front so, door. So it's a Russian website. What is this Russian you know, so website? The idea behind, I think, this Russian website, you know, is to actually say this is so easy to do. Let's call attention because when you put the vulnerabilities out there in such a dramatic way, maybe many. So Doing it for the good? They say they're, they're doing it for the good. I mean, if anything, it's eye opening. And, and if I can say anything, if you have these cameras that are connected to the internet, make sure to change it from the default password. And also, we should call in manufacturers to say anyone who buys some of these cameras should be prompted to change the passwords. Because as I said before, this is not a hardcore hack. Kyle, as, as an ethical hacker, was able to do this within about two minutes. So and now we're seeing with this Russian website how easy it is and how widespread it is.